What is up guys, Thaddeus here. So you made your first sale, what do you do next, right? How, how, how do you proceed from there? This is gonna be a really, really quick video. Uh, it's <laughs> uh, uh, five in the morning, about six in the morning. But I wanna watch you guys through like, hey, what do you do once you make your first sale? And like, how, how, do you, how do you proceed from there? How do you start to scale up, right? So first of all, you're gonna be really excited, right? I remember I, like when I first first sale, I was ecstatic. Okay, I thought I was rich. Um, <laughs> it wasn't, but, this is what you do, right? So step one, you need to like prepare to scale, right? You can't actually make a lot of money dropshipping if if you're not ready to make a lot of money dropshipping, right? Does that make sense? Like you need to be prepared to scale, okay? How do you actually do that? Well, one, you need, I'm, I'm assuming, right? Um, at least if you watch a lot of my other videos too, or if you're in the mastery course, all that kind of stuff, that you have your Facebook pixel already installed, okay? You have that there, it's already collecting data from everyone that visits your site, okay? The guy that just purchased, you should have information on him now um, from that data that eventually, you know, once you have a lot more, you can actually use that information to scale up, uh, run ads, run lookalike audiences, all that kind of stuff, right? So, one, you need to have your Facebook pixel installed, ready to scale up with Facebook ads down the road. Now, if you guys were bootstrapping, Okay, like like how I got started, right? It means you don't have a lot of money. You didn't have a lot of money to play around with to start off. I would now look into ordering the products to actually get your own content, right? So like if you were bootstrapping, I'm assuming you didn't necessarily have the money to order all your products up front, um, or you just didn't know like, hey, I don't know which ones will be like more trendier, all that kind of stuff. So basically, once you have your first sale or your first few sales come in, um, use that money, reinvest, right? So start actually getting those products so you can get your own content so you can start branding your site. Um, and have a lot more control of your overall brand image um, to your customers and how they perceive you, okay? You need to start out building email funnels, guys. Some of you guys don't have that set up, because guys, when you're running these shout outs or these paid ads, all that kind of stuff, that's paid traffic, okay? So you're actually spending money per, like, per conversion, right? Or per per engagement, per whatever the objective is, okay? With emails and whatnot, like, you're using data that you already have from your site, from your customers, all that kind of stuff. Like, that's free money for you guys to use, okay? You, you need to use email, like, email funnels, okay? Have emails, go out to them daily, weekly, whatever it is, okay? So that you guys can actually use that to actually get more, you know, sales, more revenue, okay? Because again, emails, for some of my sites, I counted up for you know 18% of revenue for certain months, okay? But then again, that's how I, that's how my brand was, okay? So like for example, guys, one of my sites, I did a deal of the day where essentially I made zero money on that product, okay? So I would find a product on AliExpress that, that that went with my brand, okay, in the fashion industry, because that's what I do. And I would literally list it on its own separate page called Deal of the Day, and we would literally make no money off of it, okay? Maybe a dollar max, okay? But it was supposed to be the objective was supposed to be so cheap that people would be like, oh wow, this is really, really cheap. They buy it. Now we have their email. Now we have data that we can use to retarget them, shoot them, you know, more emails, all that stuff, to eventually lead to a higher, you know, purchase value or order um, when they come back to purchase again. Okay, so that's that's one strategy. That's how I was actually able to email people daily with relevant information. Okay, it's not like emailing daily with spamming crap out of your ass. Okay, so it's, it's you want something engaging or relevant to your brand, to your audience that you can use. Okay, uh, next content-wise. Okay, because you guys know I preach content, I live for content, your site, your social media handles, your social media accounts, uh, your emails, basically anything that is customer facing, okay? Anything that the customer sees, you need to have control of that and you need to actually, you know, control how it looks, okay? So you need your own content. You guys should be working on having flow from all your stuff, okay? So for example, if you have really good content on, you know, your Instagram page, for example, right? But your website is a lot more text oriented and less, you know, visually oriented, all this good traffic that's coming from Instagram that's, you know, they're used to visuals, they're used to scrolling down their feed, seeing a bunch of pictures. If they hit a website that looks like a newspaper, okay, they're gonna bounce, okay? Your, 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 um, what's it, your bounce rate's gonna increase, your conversion rate's gonna decrease, like people aren't gonna be interested, they're gonna hit your website and kind of be like off like they're gonna be like oh wait this doesn't look like the brand I just visited right so you guys you want to have flow and in some instances right that's like with logos and stuff that that's how people carry on okay that's just one small instance of how it happens they see a logo on your Instagram handle they see the logo on the website that's how they connect the dots okay so if they see you know all this good content all this similar content from both your social medias and it brings you to the website where they see similar content as well maybe you even have a page that shows your Instagram catalog through Instagram feeds okay there's apps for that guys all right so you can have that stuff to carry on your flow to build customer trust and ultimately increase your conversion rate all right content is king all right it's like how, how you brand yourself and you want control of all angles of your brand so like are you luxury right you, you need to look luxury are you cheap you need to look like hey this is all affordable stuff that people can buy that you can capitalize on impulse buyers stuff like that okay now the last thing is you need to flush out your website all right so that means you know apps 
widgets, you know, how are you collecting data? Are you using, you know, giveaways? Are you doing contests? Are, are you using, there's a bunch of different Shopify apps, guys, that you can use to actually collect all this data. Um, and then, you know, again, use to retarget it, scale with Facebook ads, all that kind of stuff, right? But this is like everything you want to have in place or, you know, putting in place once you've made your first sale so you can start to scale, guys. Because again, doing what you did to get your first sale, okay, I don't know what exactly you guys did, maybe Instagram shout outs, maybe Facebook ads, um, maybe you, you know, ask your grandma, I don't know, okay? But you won't be able to scale if you just keep doing that at the level you're doing that, okay? Does that make sense? So basically, like, if you only bought one Instagram shout out and you got that sale, like, you, if you just keep buying one shout out a day, that's not scaling, guys. That, that's staying even, okay? If that, okay? Because pages get saturated, your sales go down. All right, stuff like that, okay? So you need to actually be prepared to scale. You always gotta be conscious of, hey, am I actually scaling or am I just staying at this level? Am I just staying afloat? Is my store just, you know, doing this repetitive cycle? Or am I, am I like, kind of creating a snowball effect where, hey, I got this one sale, I can use this money from here and put it in here, and now I have, hey, look, I have five sales, I have all this you know, extra money, now I can do this, now I have 50 sales, right? I have this money, I can throw it in ads here, blah, 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 and you start scaling and saying, scaling, you put money in to different avenues, more shout outs, more, you know, more Instagram ads that you're testing, okay? Maybe one for, you know, likes, engagement, impressions, or conversions, anything like that, right? You need to funnel your money into these different avenues so you can act scale, right? You've got to be putting more money in as your store progresses to actually get more money out, okay? It, 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 it kind of, it like takes money to make big money, okay? I'm not gonna say it takes money to make money because I got started dropshipping with literally like $30 in my bank account, so I'm not gonna say that because <laughs> I've, I've finessed my way out of that one, right? So that quote don't work for me, but it does take money to make big money, okay? So I'm talking like, hey, if you spend, you know, $500 in Facebook ads, I've had people, I've even had my buddy Jacob over here who's actually in the mastery course, which I suggest you guys check out, okay? Always plug, that was a beautiful plug, okay? Literally link in the description down below. Uh, but he's only spent $460 on ads and I think he made $7,000 in sales, guys. Hey, that's pretty neat. He was, I think, paying around $2 per conversion. He was running only like three different ad sets, stuff like that, okay? But again, that's, that's just how you scale, okay? Like you take the money that you have from the sales. You don't, you know, start go buy a new f like fresh pair of kicks or something like that. You don't do that, okay? Especially after your first sale, okay? Maybe maybe after, you know, you start generating consistent income that you know you can rely on. Um, at least for the next few months, then maybe you can treat yourself a little bit, okay? But you guys need to like scale, okay? That's the thing. What do you do after you make your first sale? Well, you make more sales and you start scaling your site, okay? That's what you gotta do. And then, you know, after you have one site, you can actually build another site and scale that up with the money from that first site. So, guys, it's just like keeping these positive cash flows going and diversifying them, okay? That's what I wanna talk about. And that's this quick video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, or respond to everybody's comments, and don't forget to subscribe. We are doing a video a day. My hair is kinda of weird, I showered at like four in the morning. But yeah, that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, there are free mini um, courses in the link down below. There is the master course. I do suggest you guys check it out. Um, the price will be increasing once I release my full zero to 10K in a week challenge that I'm filming right now. There will be a lot of it on YouTube because I want to document and showcase with you guys, but the people in the course are getting the 100% transparent, like literally everything. Um, and the price will go up after that is in and after a few more videos are in as well, um, especially with the, um, the dropshipping catalog and all that stuff. Like basically once you're in the mastery course, guys, you get grandfathered into everything, okay? So you literally get everything down the road that's, that's, that's I'm adding, okay? And I'm adding stuff weekly into that thing just because I want to have the most valuable platform um, on the internet besides X-Commerce, which I'm also a partner in, which I'm super excited because that's literally launching in two weeks. But that's the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e-commerce related from the mastery course to free PDFs and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.